Well, what's going on guys? It's Ben from the Parker Brothers YouTube channel and I'm here for a quick overnight, a quick, little short, intimate video. And I'm at a lake with some absolute nosser pigs in. There's some real, real, real nice ones in here. I've done a couple of sessions on it before. I've never really done any time on this particular lake, um, but it really is just a quick overnight. I'm here with Mr. Longcast, Corey. Um, we've opted, let me turn you around, let me turn you around. So if you look down here, you've got peg one, peg two, three, so on. Um, it does look right to fish off the back of the wind, but uh, it's quite an aggressive wind as well, and it's hard. It's not. It's the coolest wind we're going to have, or the or the hottest wind we're going to have between now and going into next week. It's going to go down to minuses at the moment. It's it's a nice temperature, and this is the last night of decent temperature. So, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen tonight. I'm up top of filming the weekend, and to be honest with you, I'm not feeling very confident at all. Apparently, it goes down to minus six or minus four, or one of the two. Um, I think this is peg free. You got East Lake there. These are all ticket waters. You come on, you just book it online and go from there. It's but not going to be warm, buddy. It's not not looking great, mate. Is it? I'm I'm, a sh I'm holding the camera and I'm trying not to shiver and shake the camera. But um, yeah, mega lake, mega fish, and like I said, join us on a quick overnight mission before work tomorrow. Come on the carp. Well, to be honest, I've never seen a man set up so quick. Corey is a guy that just he does these quick overnighters and he's just got a thing of doing things so quick. But but hear this: we've got the van parked here. That look at that. I'm set up, I've joined the gang mate, I've got blooming the frontier now, oh look at this bad boy, it's all going on, that took me all of about five seconds to put up, but normally it takes me five hours, and this is looking naughty, I've got new Nash swan neck, um, buzz bars, and uh, <laughs> I'm absolutely buzzing, they look naughty, they look absolutely naughty, so um, would be lovely to finish it off with a nice fish. Don't they look good, mate? Yeah, mate. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my view. Plan of action now is I'm going to flick some rods out. I've output and too much to start. I don't want to start smashing it apart out there. I want to get a couple of casts, find my spots, maybe use the tree line to my advantage, because naturally when people are in these swims, I'm sure they're using markers the other side to sort of line up to. And, yeah, that's the plan of action, I think. When I found my spots, little bit of bait i'm armed with some i'm obviously armed with parker baits i've got some 18 millers in here i cooked fresh this morning funnily enough so i thought you know what let me naughty and pinch some so they've had our double dusting and you ain't getting fresher than that i've also got a 10 mil mix i'm um, with some pellet our new pellet but again i'll touch base on that later and i'll show you that but yeah that's the plan of action that's the plan of attack we're the only ones on the lake and the only people i can see cars in here the only one's brave in it, so I'm really looking forward to it to be honest. I know I keep saying that, but this lake has got a a fish that I dearly want. Um, I really, really do want, and it's not an easy fish to, to catch. It doesn't come out very often, this particular fish. Um, I've never done any time up here, but I'd love to do a bit more time up here every now and again when I can get it in. Um, but yeah, there it is. That's the update for now, and I need to get these rods played about with and um, find them spots. Happy bloomin' days, mate.
be rude not to touch on the baiting approach. I don't know if I said that earlier, but there they are. Fresh 18 millers, if it decides to focus. I cooked this morning and also this lovely mix. So I've got the new um, fruit and nut pellet in there with the 10 mils, followed up with the sauce and then a little sprinkle of magic dust. Not much, just a little bit. They've been festering since this morning. Corey's fishing the same. That's what we're doing. Like I said, time to get this bait out. <laughs> well, that's it, happy with them, them spawns when, I, I don't know if you heard there, they went absolutely out beautiful, par two of them, put about 15 spawns out in the end, but only takes one big fish to be a, to be hungry and then drop over that spot at night, fresh bait, um, and hopefully they just take a, take a little, little mooch and uh, game over. Um, I've got three spinner rigs out there in the end, I thought you know what, I'm going to go for it, I'm going to put them out, I'll do what I'm confident in, so that's exactly what I've done. Um, yeah, and that is basically it. Like I said, put the bait over, got the rods, took me numerous times but I've got them right. Um, tease one for this, rather cast 20 times and have a fish or know you're fishing and then and then just throw them out there and just you're just hitting and hoping basically pub chucking and that's not me i can't i just can't sit there behind my rods confident if if i'm not 100 percent fishing but i know i'm fishing i've got this lovely moon behind me but i am getting um they're diving down on my bait the coots out there at the moment which is a bit annoying but i haven't been picked up yet touch touch wood i'll probably take you over here very quickly to see what core's doing that's a lovely van it's so much easier. Oh, there it is, looking pretty as always, mate. Yeah, boy. So, what you done then, Mush? Uh, a whack one at about 160. Right. <laughs> as far as I could. And yeah. Just because there was a bit of a slack at the back where there's no wind. So, I put one. Uh, so sort of over here is where he's put one, where the tip of my finger is now, guys. He sort of mentioned to me earlier. The left hand had the third trees, but three trees, the left hand one basically. Yeah. That 160 just actually whacking up there. And then got two, about 22 wraps, and I'm just putting a bit of fruit and nut from 10s, 18, and some maggots and pellet. Very nice too, mate. Yeah. Be lovely to nick one, mate. I'm not expecting miracles here tonight, but if we do pick one up, it could be an absolute pig, couldn't it? Well, any of them out of here, mate, I'd be happy with. Yeah, uh, just cause you're it's not, not wrong. an easy lake, simple as that. No, you're not wrong, you're not wrong. So yeah, look at that. I'll get one spawn for you so you can see where he's going and then I'll leave him alone and then time to lock on, chill out and enjoy this beautiful evening because it really is, that's the only word for it. Every time, look at that on the money. Yeah, nice mate. Good luck tonight. Wow, I'm just sat in my bivvy now looking out and it looks so, so good out there. It's all flattened off now. The wind's slowly trickling in this way and I'm glad I opted not to put, push the rods too far. Although I've got the flexibility to do that and I can cast there, no issue, but I just, nah, I think it's, I've made the right decision. I'm also glad I didn't put them all bang on the spot. The right hand rod is, like I mentioned, half a rod lengths off the spot. Um, just for any wary ones maybe and sometimes you can pick up the bigger fish that way and I have done in the past and it's caught me some absolute monsters. So yeah, looking forward to tonight. I really do get, get off on these overnighters, these quick ones, especially when you've got fish out in front of you like there, there is in this particular lake and just trust me on that. There's some blooming good ones in here to have. So if we nick one, It'll be like winning the lottery, but if not, I'll be happy nevertheless. If you're seeing this, but mate, look at that moon. Look at that moon. And the last thing that happened on the semi full moon or full moon on the face. Oh, Eric's. Come on, come on. 
Yeah, that's what time it is. Yeah, very press coffee time, baby. Nothing like it. Fresh coffee, look at that. Banging. That will warm the cockles. And the moon's up here. You can see all the caravans over the back there. It's quite cool. Some of them have got Christmas lights on, which I'm going to be using as a marker, but... <laughs> watching over at the moment and there's coots where my finger is directly on my spot it's typical isn't it there's the, oh he scared them off my half Alicia he's got his tufty torch and they did not like that they're now definitely off the spot but it's looking very festive out there Corey mentioned a minute ago and I agree it looks absolutely lovely all the fancy Christmas lights look on all the back of the caravans Yeah, lovely. Yeah, they don't know that light, mate, do they? No. Shut them up as well. Right. The night continues. Half past five. Early doors, pitch black, freezing. Semi full moon. Oh. <laughs> Come on. You alright there, mate? No. Nah. We've got the van, got the coffees on the go. Brung enough water to just get me through. Using Corey's setup. Are you having a tea or are you having a coffee? Having an air press. Get the old coffee, old boy. Oh, the old coffee. There's some happy days. That's our view at the moment. <laughs> Disco going over on over there to our left. Your fl plane flying over. Look at that, mate. <whistles> Come on, the car. Basic build dinner tonight. You've got this bad boy. Corey's got. What you got, mate? You've got the old classic. The classic. <laughs> Get your sauce in there, mate. Yeah, saucy devil. <laughs> so I've just smashed half of that. And to be fair, for a squid, it's a good dinner. Quick dinner. Wow, didn't quite hit the spot that. So now we're resulting to eggs. I permanently borrowed some um, eggs from the factory. I've been there all day smashing out orders and um, Popping up on bait, we'd be doing the 10 millers, bagging all them up and making fresh 18 millers as well. But yeah, these eggs are lovely, fresh eggs. So I'm gonna have some of them. Me and Cor in a second. In, we got some rolls though. So that's the plan of action. I am dripping like an egg sandwich, got it all over my fingers. Try not to get it over the camera, but we got egg sandwiches. Yeah. Lovely. Right, wow, well, that's me all tucked up in the bivvy now. And uh, Corey's over from me. Locked up all the van and that. And in for a cold night, I think. But the mods are on the money, like I said earlier, and I'm, I don't want to say quietly confident, but it would be lovely. It would be really nice for something to go off. You know, it really, really would. <laughs> to nick one on a quick one here, but. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that and I'm going to touch base with you hopefully between now and the morning um, with a fish. Um, if not, I'll probably touch base with you in the morning. We've literally packed down all of our stuff. Um, bare essentials in the bivvy, the out, just a just shower up. I've got next to nothing around me now, so in the morning it's just a case of just grabbing the stuff, the last bits, last bag putting the bank sticks in, zipping up and then going. So the joys are quick overnighters, but if you put the time in, sometimes you can seek rewards and hopefully tonight we seek them rewards. So fingers crossed, come on the car, come on the Parker Bates. I'll see you soon. Oh, more than all, it is now, it's coming up to quarter to seven. Got me leaving about quarter past. 
she's about half an hour to pack up but um yeah not on a very eventful night I had a bit of an occurrence before bed last night I was just sort of laying in bed and left hand left hand bod gets a few beeps so it sort of frankly jumps up and um it's a massive drop back it's a bit weird and I get a few more beeps on it I don't know whether it was birds there was sort of birds out there but it was drop back he sort of hit into it and my lead had, had actually moved so whether they moved it that far moved to my right probably about two rod lengths so it's been picked up and then it's been dropped I don't know but anyway last night moved that rod in put it straight back out on the money and luckily I got it first time I can't quite believe how lucky I was, got it first time, put the rod back on the breast, didn't top up with bait and left it and then that, that was it ever since really. So one of them didn't go quite to how I would have liked but you got to put the time in it you know, on these quick overnighters to try and seek the rewards and just this time it didn't happen but well there's still a little bit of time and apparently it does like a morning bite this lake so yeah the pack down begins, that's the plan of action. I'm sure I'll touch base before I leave. I'll see you in a bit. Well, that's us back in the van and an uneventful, quick, quick overnighter. Um, I'm going to leave it at that, guys. I hope you like this video. If you have liked this video, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below. Smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward. And I'll probably see you next Wednesday, 7.30. All the best. Peace out.